I think that might work. Oh, that was way too close. This is where we see uh, the death counter explode. Those green canisters can be grabbed as well. Okay, let's give that a try. Wait, what? That was it? Green canisters, Jexes. Green canisters. You win, Jexes. You win. That is amazing. That is the best suggestion. Don't die on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader. The one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA... Gives a rat's ass about some rinky dink biotech corporation's company secrets. <clears throat> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai, Hang Shot, Court Gardens, <clears throat> Penthouse. Tell them. <coughs> Tell them. Rose, but. Tell him Barrett sent you straight to hell! That fire looks strangely realistic. Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You alright? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. Game's fault, I uh, never fight a bullet. Well, mighty is it, now I understand why. That is, uh, that is the golden tip that was. Ooh, mines, frag grenades, I'll, I'll take all the grenades I can find right now. Typhoon ammo, I think that'll serve me well down the line. Don't need those. There's no way in tutorials or animation where you have to throw a barrel at the wall or something. Yeah, Jexus, that is exactly it. I didn't think that that would be a relevant option. I didn't... It never even crossed my mind that those would be interactable. So... That is something I'm going to have to pay more attention to. Because that completely changed everything. I'm happy though because now we got to fight him, that little smear. Um, at the difficulty we're at, we didn't, we didn't fall back. We didn't. Well, hello. Didn't fall back. We didn't compromise. We did exactly what we needed to do. You know, uh, this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is perfectly within my policy on how to um, take these things. Basically, by the time the game stops being fun for me by an encounter like this, the type I don't like, I'm fine with you just going, okay, look, grab those barrels, throw those at them, that'll help you. Yep, Jexus, I agree. Had they instructed you, you would have been on the lookout of like, okay, what, hey, barrels, I can throw things. Rails can guns as fire extinguishers. Nice. <laughs> Indeed, Mighty Sid's plot is found. God, I'm so happy we're done with this, because this could have been... This could have been a frustrating spiral, I tell you. Oh. Really? Really? Might have taken a different door just now. Ah! 
Yo, what's good, man? Might be. Yeah, never mind. I'm good. All good. Okay. Malik? Hi there. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Absolutely. Let's go. Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on. Nice. <laughs> nice, Uther. Let me show you my augmentation. <laughs> I wonder if we missed something, if we could have found that, um, that guy that was arrested, that we read about in the paper. with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. Fine. I guess we can see him first. Look at all those grenades, by the way. <laughs> Might want to see him before debriefing Sarah, but then again, it might be fun to make him wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll see before, but first, how are you doing? I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. Damn it, that is where I could find that, that NSF guy, right? Uh. Oh, wait a minute. If you remember, there was a thingy down there. I, I think it might have been level 5 to hack, though. But I kind of want to double check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Francis. Exactly, Jexus. Yeah, level five. And I believe I have two. I have two praxis, so I could level up to five. <laughs> but. Ooh. Aim stabilizer, nice. Um, but I want to see where else I can go because maybe something like a rebreather would be good if we need to swim more. Typhoon, though. That's more for um, direct combat, I think. Something like a stealth enhancer would be nice. This place range in which the noise you produce travels. Ah, that's how I can track them. Cones of vision. <gasps> yes. Oh. I can see their cones of vision. That would be so fun. But I think in general, see through walls. Ooh. My first instinct is to take down two opponents at once. Oh, that sounds like fun. I think my first thing is to um, try and increase my options for getting places. So sprinting may not be running silently. I think I may actually have those. I can throw heavy objects. Punching through walls may be the only thing I don't have to get places more easily. Could of course get more energy, but... Mm, a rebreather might be useful. Otherwise, it's hacking, I think. Hacking is the only other thing that'll get me to new places, so... Getting a level 5 hack might actually be an interesting thing to do. There's no NSF in this game. Aww. Aww. I would have liked to see the NSF. We need everyone on high alert. 
It's not only the pro odds who might want to get a Taggart, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro-human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible, so keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Taggart and his entourage are out of the building. Hmm. So cool you remember. Um, what exactly? Because, you know, stream delay. By the time we've typed that, I've moved on to the next thing. Getting more plays also means better chance of finding more practice points. Exactly. Punching through walls is fun, but there's rarely a time when it doesn't create a wall of noise. That's exactly what I was thinking, Uthor. No need for NCF, there's no Uneko. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I was just thinking. You know what? Why don't I just hack that? We can. I mean, we'll spend this Praxis on buying that. Leaves us with one extra Praxis. And we'll try and see what that is. Maybe we'll make a new hard save so that we have that quick save to load back before the Praxis in case this turns out to be nonsense. I mean, ah, in the end, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want this level anyway. Oh god. This is not gonna work out. There we go, there we go. It is not gonna work out. Let's... I'm gonna already do this, and I've got a theory behind this. That the earlier I can do this, the more I can protect myself. God, this is not going to go well. Access granted. Master hacker, nice. I didn't get that extra XP, but Ooh. Look at all the goodies. Stun gun, I'll take the darts. Combat rifle, I don't think I have that. Get that typhoon ammo. Tranquilize the darts. Ooh, that, this might have been worth it after all. That's pretty cool. Okay. Don't forget the sewers to explore. Oh, yes! Yes! Good that you mention it. The sewers are things we need to explore soon. Maybe on the way to the next mission we'll have a look into the sewers. Because indeed, I saw that a couple of times already now and didn't do anything with it yet. You know what? I'm gonna save up and see if I can hack these with no problem. Because let's face it, we're good at hacking right now. With our skills. He says just before getting discovered. Oh, no. Wait, am I ha Do I get f less chance for detection now? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make sure to... There we go. Access granted. Nice. That was not bad. Nobody seems to mind, so uh, let's go. What is everyone still doing here? What am I still doing here? That's something I ask myself frequently while I'm working late at night and everybody else has gone home. The set of ethos. Here at Seraf Industries, we specialize in the design and manufacture of advanced neuro augmentations and prosthetics for human implantation, and we strive to distinguish ourselves by working with clients to create progressive, forward-thinking, custom augmentations that answer specific challenges and needs. Fub, did you write this? We are proud to maintain our creative independence in a rapidly shrinking and highly competitive marketplace. To ensure our uniqueness, we maintain an in-house staff of doctors and nurses, in addition to the usual array of augmentation scientists and researchers, training them to work with clients to determine individual needs. Sadaf Industries offers its clients free 
comprehensive pre-operational screenings so as to better understand their personal challenges. We employ over 1,500 people in the Detroit area in our factory and R&D facilities. More than any other corporation in the augmentation industry, we work hard to promote and maintain our reputation as innovators and as a home for independence, excellence, and quality. Ugh, market speech. Wait, what? What the fuck does Pikus have against us? Ever since Taggart gave that damn speech in front of the UN, Kassan's taken every opportunity she has to slant this augmentation debate in his favor. We were the ones who were fucking attacked. We lost people, he didn't. That has got to earn us some sympathy. Get on the phone and work this, Lyle. Do what I fucking pay you to do! Wow, David, you are a... You are a motivator. Hey, boss. Mr. Seraph just stuck his head in. Looks like he's on the warpath. You might want to get back here ASAP and... Are we still in move for movies Saturday night? Wow. You miss hacking all the offices of Seraph Industries? <laughs> and it does sound like the corporate propaganda you sometimes uh, have to spout. Yeah, isn't that just typical? There we go, Mika. Though when asked what the purpose of a software is, my answer is always that it's not feature complete until it brings about world peace. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I, I believe just... I don't know, sometimes those types of phrases, like... I think... Um, my place of work's motto is making the world a better place. But I'm thinking, really though? Are we making the world a better place? Because I thought we were just teaching students how to market things. That doesn't quite seem like making the world a better place. Just like, you know, introducing more marketeers. The tyranny of biology. Plan skipped over a seminar given by Hugh Darrow. Hugh Darrow gives a lot of seminars. At the World Bioethics Summit in Tokyo, 8th of September, 2011. The next study I'd like to share is one in which we analyze the security and privacy properties of implantable cardioverter defibrillator, ICD. Introduced to the US market in 2003, the model of ICD includes pacemaker technology and is designed to communicate wirelessly with nearby external programmer in the 175 kHz frequency range. After partially reverse engineering the ICD's communication protocol with an oscilloscope and software radio, we implemented several software radio-based attacks that could compromise patient safety and privacy. At this point, cries of outrage from participants interrupt Mr. Darrow. He looks up, surprised. Loud gaveling sounds. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please! After several minutes, the crowd quiets enough for Mr. Darrow to speak. <laughs> Listen, I'm not here to talk about the philosophical nature of what we do in augmentation science. This is not to say I don't understand the ramifications of my work, just that I feel there are better thinkers than I more suited to the task. My prowess, my genius, if you'll forgive me for calling it that, is in the creation of these engines of human improvement. I'll leave it to future generations to decide if I'm remembered well for what I've created. But I will say this. At no other time in our history as the dominant species on this planet have we, as human beings, had as much power over our own bodies as we do now. We are on the threshold of an age where the tyranny of biology can be defeated. Someone born blind, someone whose legs are claimed by some tragedy, someone who once could hear but now cannot. We can offer hope to them. Nature no longer has the upper hand. Okay, that man is a speecher. Nice. Ew, hello. Not making the world a better place? Call it's calling the world a better place till people believe you. Yeah, that's marketing all right, Alex. Mika, just got off the phone with Erin from every season. She told me that all these vacation days you've been using up lately haven't been vacations at all. Why did you come to me, sweetheart? If I'd known how difficult it was for you to set foot in his labs, I could have done something about it. Look, I'll speak to David. He'll understand. Maybe we can get workers' comp to reimburse us for all the weeks you've been missing. In the meantime, stay home. Try to relax. Keep up with those sessions with Aaron. Sounds like a really helpful person. 
Tega Software actually does promote world peace, so this is sort of roadmap to that point. Luckily, it aligns with the corporate agenda. Fub, that's pretty awesome, actually. N I feel that none of what I do leads to a better world. I work in um, the, the institute, the, the specific school of the institute I work in is the school of business. The world doesn't need more business. The world has too much business. We need people who aren't focused on finances and capitalism and all that nonsense. You read that one. You read that one. Um, we read that one. That makes work difficult for me sometimes, you know? Just, just the knowledge that what I'm doing isn't working to make a better place for people. Access granted. I started to think that it was a good idea to level up hacking to five. The neural hub designed for the next generation. From Paper and Neo Nature by Hugh Dado again. Neural hub technology is viewed by some as a millstone about the neck of cybernetics research, but some commentary indicates a failure to think outside the box. Blah. Not reading this correctly. In fact, the neural hub has always had the capacity to grow beyond its function as a gateway for cyberware integration. This is pretty much what Elon Musk is saying nowadays, by the way. These implants, developed in the beginning as components in ever shrinking cell phone, TV, and MP3 player parts, <laughs> MP3 players comprise numerous physical processes integrated on one physical chip. But the key is in the threading. The hub is controlled by software which enables most efficient, a more efficient processing on the hardware. Each input from the nervous system generates its own or multiple threads based on operations like motion or recollection. What I propose is a combination of multi-core processors tied closer to the human brain's own superlative multitasking capability effectively breaking down the barrier between the commonplace hub designs of current iterations and the subject's own mind. In effect, we allow the hub to work with the human brain. In analogy, instead of a relay race where one participant is slower than the other, it becomes a ride on a tandem. Nice. Well done, buddy. That music is pretty nice. Luthor, you been on the modern history kick? Listen to Winston Churchill speeches? Yeah, he's he's got some whoppers in there. Some beautiful speeches. The world needs more business. Entrepreneurs bring value to communities. Economic integration, best way to world's world peace. I strongly disagree. Um, what I basically see is people who abuse words and concepts to sell people things they don't need and then to increase basically want in the world rather than try and solve actual problems. The people we get, the students that graduate, they don't think about sustainability. They don't understand sustainability. They think sustainability means I plant a tree for every shoe you buy, but they don't consider the actual consequences of their actions. Don't be pissed at me, Di. All about when I said was that maybe, just maybe, they made a mistake. Happens all the time in those crime scene shows. And when Africa actually saw the DNA results, don't you want to believe that Megan could still be alive? She was your friend too, after all. Whoa. Hey, Gail, you hear the thing of cutting vacation days? What the hell? It's kind of thing companies do when they're about to go belly up. Yeah, Lala just told me. We work our butts off and they start taking away our benefits. Not nah, cool. Start getting a sinking feeling about this place. Still up for a happy hour? If we can get away at a decent hour? Uh, yeah, and overtime one. We read that one. The world needs more memes. Ruthar. Damn it. See you later. Oh, we'll, we'll talk to Pritchard. Wait, Pritchard was in my office, wasn't he? That means it's time to hack his PC. No? Steal his candy bar? Ha ha! Victory! Stealing all your candy bars. I think I read that one, didn't I? I think I read that one.
Uh, um, ooh, one more to hack. Perfect. <gasps> Malik. Yes, let's hack in. MP3 players. Someone spot the 2011 uh, game? Exactly. Came for fun, not to feel. I, I know, Jexus, I know. Damn it. Let's load that quick save. I did quick save, didn't I? I think I quick saved. I hope I quick saved. Tell me I quick saved. Um, I think I quick saved. Hey, Vaynan, thank you very much for the tweet, by the way. I'm seeing that now in Steam. Nice. I didn't save, did I? Did I not save any of this? No, wait, I saved, I saved. I'm good, I'm good. Use the best practice implementation of how the world peace through economic integration, so you're all for it. Yeah, if, if you get that, the, the problem that, um, you know, the level we're training them at, that's, none of them are going to be anywhere close to the EU. These are people that will think of new marketing <laughs> schemes to, um, this is not going to work. Access denied. I need to start using the nukes more. But yeah, the, the people we train, they're the people who are just gonna sling marketing programs. They they don't think about what they're doing. They don't, you know, by and large, some of them do. Most of them, though, they're just there to sell you stuff. And that depresses me. Okay, how about I'm gonna hack in that one? <laughs> And let's see if I can nuke that one, hack into that, hack into that, and then hack into this while protecting these. Access granted. That did it. Malik, let's see what you are hiding. Building wings. A better tomorrow. What is transhumanism? A grandiose term, perhaps, but an accurate one. It is a search, a great destination that we, as a species, are approaching as our journey through evolution nears its next great leap. It is no less than the chance for human beings to reach out and take the helm of their own development. For the first time in history, we live in an era where factors that define the borders of the human condition, death, longevity, disability, and all the other many tyrannies of our own biology can be surpassed. The advancing science of human augmentation technologies allows us to look to an enhanced future, a better tomorrow where the limitations of flesh and bone can be transcended. If I write these words and sound like an evangelist, then perhaps I am. I look to my future and rapt. I like how the tyranny of biology is repeated from um, the, the other guy's many, many speeches in his own words, because that is pretty much exactly how that goes. Talking about how corporations create a dystopian future. I know, we're playing cyberpunk. Exactly, Ben, and exactly. Read a lot of essays these douchebags write about how to make companies more efficient by firing most of the senior workers. Yep, exactly that, Jexus. Exactly that nonsense. Hey, Fly Girl. Serious about hitting J-Tree next month. Think about it. Thanksgiving, in the desert, hanging out, after we nail the fortress, natural selection, babe, or baby, you bring the glow sticks this time, you win, son of a, gives us the code, didn't you fire Brian Tindall a few weeks ago, I could have sworn coming out of the helipad storage area, nothing was missing, but I think you should change the code, ah, huh. Uh, yeah, see, might as well delete this mail as soon as you've read it. Damn it, Malik. Follow proper security protocol for crying out loud. You're... I like you for taking me everywhere safely, Malik, but uh, that was not proper security protocol. My favorite tweets from the last few weeks has been UK. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I've seen the one, um, Huthor. I think I shared that one on Facebook. That one's pretty, pretty accurate, sadly enough. <laughs> 